Hey y'all, what's up? It's Jessica. Welcome back. Thank y'all so much for tuning in today. Today I have a makeup review for you guys. I'm going to be reviewing the new Too Faced Foundations. Recently, Jackie Ina, if you don't know her, I mean, everybody knows her. But if you don't know her, she is a beauty vlogger here on YouTube who has pioneered, paved the way, made the way for brown beauty bloggers in this business, in this space. She's one of the most vocal about, you know, brands expanding their shade range. Like, what are y'all doing out here in these streets? Why can't we get something in our color? So she recently partnered with Too Faced to launch the new shades that she came out with with the Born This Way collection. She announced this a while back. I remember seeing it on Snapchat. So it finally came out and I was so hyped about it. I know it came out online, but I didn't want to buy it online, girl. I did not want to buy it online. I wanted to go to the store, try it out, test it out. It took me almost two weeks okay. to finally find it at Sephora, my shade. I had to travel to get it and they finally had it and I was so excited to try it out and I was like, okay, I swatched her and I was like, hmm, I wonder how this is gonna look on my face. Too Faced also came out with their Born This Way full coverage concealer that I was so hyped about. And then they decided to come out with their own translucent powder from the Born This Way collection. So the Born This Way collection just had an explosion of just newness. I really like the Born This Way, but I wasn't in love with it. But all these new little bits that are coming in in this collection makes me hype. It makes me want to try it. Am I going to love it? Is it going to work for me? Am I going to find a perfect match? All these questions that need answers. So I'm going to be testing it out, seeing how I like it. If it, it's a, if it is a perfect match, if Jackie did the dang thing, did you do it, Jackie? I don't know yet. We got to try it out and see. And I'm going to let you guys know my final thoughts. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. I already have my face moisturized and ready for my primer. I'm going to be using the Primed and Peachy Primer. This is the Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer by Too Faced. I don't know why. I just forgot <laughs> the name of the brand. I've used this before and I didn't like it. I think it was because it just did not mesh well with the foundation that I was using. But I'm going to give it another shot today to see if I like the way it works better with Too Faced, their own foundation. I bought the travel size because I wasn't sure how I was going to like it. But yeah, it's, it's, I don't know if you guys have tried this before, but it's a little creamy. A little moussey, I feel like. And I'm just going to put, I think I put, I put way too much on my hands, but I'm just going to put a little bit on my actual skin. Cause I don't really like to use too much primer if I don't have to. I have two foundations. One I already had, which is Chestnut. And Chestnut was my original shade. Like this was this, the shade that I used um, like whenever I used their foundation. But when Jackie created her shade ranges, I decided to try Chai out just to see if it would complement my skin. Now I know when Jackie explained it, she said that this was like more of a golden yellow. Um, so, and that's, pretty much my under my undertone I have golden yellow undertones a lot of times foundations show up red on me but chestnut was like my like an okay match but I want to see if chai is going to be like a perfect match you know what I mean so just for the heck of it I'm going to swatch both of them so you can see how they appear on my skin tone so you can kind of get a feel if it if you're around my skin tone what it would look like on you if I'm not mistaken I believe the website describes chestnut as a more neutral shade so I'm going to put chestnut right here. So yeah, chestnut is definitely more, it has more pink in it. It's more neutral. And this was the shade that I would rock. I mean, it wasn't, it's not something that I would just like, that I was totally satisfied with. Like it's not my exact match, but I could get away with wearing chestnut. I've worn it plenty of times and it didn't look bad. I, You know, it just, it didn't look bad. It's not my exact exact match though so if we're talking about exact matches chestnut especially now during the summertime because i did get a little bit more tan chestnut is more pink and it really shows up more pink now than it did before because of my tan so and right next to it i'm gonna go in with chai first of all i love the name chai is my favorite spice chai i love chai anyone who knows me knows i drink chai tea lattes all i just love chai I love it. So um, for her to name this Chai, I, I just wanted to try it just because of the name. But let's try out Chai. There she is. I'm going to put her right here, right next to... Okay. So off tops, 
just from the dome, I can definitely see that this is more golden than chestnut. They kind of look like if like if you squint, they look the same, but they're not. Those subtle differences make a heck of a difference. This is definitely more pink than this one. This one is more yellow, more golden, more of my undertone. And this one is like, I'm just looking at it. I'm like, wow, now I see the difference. Because at first I was like, Shh, do I really need to buy this foundation? I'm glad I bought it because this one is definitely more pink. So we are going to try out Chai today and see how she looks all over my face. So I'm just going to take Chai and put it on the butt of my beauty blender. I did two pumps. Hopefully that's not too much. Oh yeah, this is definitely a way better match. Actually, that is not what I wanted to do first. I did not want to apply my foundation first. As you can see, I have a scar right here. It's a freaking annoying scar. I, I've been wearing her as a mo lately, but she's annoying. I can't wait for that to just like fade out, go away. But I wanted to conceal, like do some color correcting first, but I guess, you know, it's too late for that. I already applied my foundation. I want to see how well Chai is going to cover this up. Like, am I going to be able to see it through here? How many layers of foundation am I going to need in order to camouflage that scar? Yeah, this is like a bomb match. This is like my perfect match. Look at that. It blends with my neck. It blends with my neck. Okay, so this is my skin after applying chai to my face. And as you can see, y'all, it blends very seamlessly but it's also a perfect shade match for me like i'm looking at my my neck my chest area and i'm not seeing a difference whatsoever this is like my shade to a t like you can't even see the difference from my skin to my face like it doesn't even look like i have on foundation how you do that jackie do you know how hard it is to find a really good golden yellow undertone foundation for me it is one of the hardest things i always have to do some extra steps i have to like make do and you know sometimes i don't want to do that like i literally just want to take a foundation boom she's my match and go about my merry way but most of the times i can't do that because either a foundation is too pink or it's too red and all i want in life is a perfect match and i really think chai is my perfect match like this is probably one of the best matching foundations that i have had because it's not it, it, i mean it's like perfect i feel like i don't even look like i have on foundation i'm just blending in with my skin <laughs> all my life i had to fight for a foundation that matched moving on to concealers Too faced recently launched their born this way um concealers and jackie didn't i don't think she had anything to do with this launch she did have something to do with the foundation, the Born This Way foundation and the extra shades. But this one, I don't think she had anything to do with. However, this is still a new foundation. I've tried their Born This Way, I think it's a Radiant Concealer. And it's I. Right. It's I. Right. This one, however, is a full coverage um, concealer that they say that you can contour with, highlight with, retouch, conceal. So it's definitely a larger size let me see if i can find my born this way like the original concealer here is the original born this way concealer as you can see it's a typical concealer um it's smaller but the finish of this is more radiant so i feel like i i would get more shiny more oily throughout the day when i wear this one this one is obviously a, you get a lot more hello kind of looks like a foundation i'm just saying this one is 0.5 fluid ounces and this one is 0.23 so clearly you get a lot more in the new full coverage born this way concealer i'm gonna test how full coverage it is i'm not one for really cakey looks so i hope these don't show up cakey on me but i have three shades here so i have chestnut chestnut is something that i would correct with like which is what i wanted to do initially but i already applied my foundation but i would definitely correct with chestnut on any you know problems that i have on my skin whether it be scarring hyperpigmentation or like any dark circles under my eye to highlight i'm going to use the shade butterscotch and to contour i'm going to use cocoa i love the applicator because i feel like you can really get in there and this is some thick stuff I don't know if butterscotch is too light for me because I was trying I tried out maple but make but maple I felt like was like blending into my skin too much like it didn't show up so I believe the next one up was butterscotch 
but now I'm feeling like she's a little too she's a little too light I'm gonna let that cook on my face for a little while and then I'm going to apply cocoa now I tried cocoa in the store and it appeared to be dark here see that looks like it'll show up right but I got a tan so usually like I, my face is lighter than my arm so if a contour shows up on my arm I know definitely it's gonna show up on my face but with my new summer glow my new summer tan I don't know let's just try it and see cuz I mean it looks it looks dark enough but let's see Ooh, that's a lot um burly <gasps> burly <laughs> you can barely see it um I mean I see it I see it it's just not as dark as I would like it however I am loving the undertone of this it's not too red it's more of a golden undertone which complements my skin tone so I'm here for that it's just not as dark like if I could get and this is the darkest shade this is the darkest shade this is not dark <laughs> if it's not even really showing up on my skin color it's not dark at all because I'm not the deepest of shades so if it's not showing up on me just think about like there's girls out there that can actually highlight with this which means it's not dark enough we need like darker options they're gonna have to definitely come out with more options still maintaining the undertones like don't get carried away so don't just give us reds and deeper shades like provide neutrals provide cool tones golden and all that stuff this is definitely like I'm trying to figure out where I put it oh it's right there see I should not have to I should be able to see it off tops off tops I should be able to see this stuff I do like the way it, apply, it applies though I'm not gonna lie the winter time cooler months this is definitely going to be like a perfect contour for me because of the golden undertone i love it it's not too red but geez louise this just cannot be the darkest shade i like the way it blends out it blends out really well i let it sit for a while and but I can say it doesn't dry down to the point where it's impossible to blend. Obviously, it's not that dark, but it's definitely there. And it's more of like a subtle contour, which there's nothing wrong with subtlety. Actually, butterscotch is not a bad shade. I thought it was too light, but once I blended it out, I'm kind of liking that. Look at that, you guys. Look at how flawless that applied to my skin. My skin looks so bomb right now. Look at this. Look at the skin look at the skin it's just like seamless Ooh. i mean I, let me back up from the chest up i feel like i just i'm just i look like butter just i look like butter garlic butter it's amazing look at how bomb and seamless everything like just it's blending in i don't see any like harsh lines nothing everything just looks like my skin it looks like my skin but extremely better for this being like full coverage for it being like you know as a thick the concealer as thick as it was I don't feel like it made my makeup look cakey whatsoever it blends nicely and a lot of times those heavy thick concealers they don't blend nicely at least you know from my experience they don't blend ni nicely and it just like kind of makes your makeup look cakey look at my face does this look cakey no girl I look like a fresh baked bagel okay look at this this is I mean I'm gonna need Two Face to spill the tea because this is bomb like don't you guys agree look at just pause the video right now and look at the skin pause it look at the skin come back now I'm not sure how this is gonna wear throughout the day but I'm not even worried about that I'm here for what it's doing for me right now sometimes you just can't can't worry about what it's gonna do for you you know throughout the day you just gotta what is it doing for me right now and it's giving me my entire life right now my skin just looks oh my god it looks amazing like I just need some brows I need some brows I need some brows and lashes I really do but guys I'm here I'm here for these concealers 
totally here for these concealers. Like my, my skin right now, I can't even handle it. Can't deal with it. Okay, so next I'm going to apply my translucent setting powders to my face. Now Too Faced did come out with their new Born This Way. Is it Born This Way? It is Born This Way setting powders. They came out with three shades. They have a translucent, they have translucent medium, and then I think they have translucent deep or dark. Um, when I went to Sephora and tried them to test it to see like which one I wanted, I did end up picking up the translucent medium, which is definitely a very warm banana shade. Like I am here for this because a lot of times um, when companies or when brands do make a banana shade, it's still a little too light. It's still more on the ashy side. This one, however, is definitely medium. Like, no cap, it's medium. And I think this will complement like deeper skin tones wonderfully. So I bought this one. However, when I tried the deep shade, she was looking a little warm, sis, like too red, very red. When I put her on, I was like, we're not Oompa We're not doing Oompa Not in 2018, we're not. We're not doing that. So I decided to skip out on that one and I'm just going to stick with my Laura Mercier. So I'm going to be using her right now for this video. She's a little bit more cool, more um, golden as opposed to the Too Faced. So if Too Faced can just like, you know, tone down the red, can, is that possible? Can y'all do that? So what I've been doing for the summertime is using my deep translucent powder first and converting my foundation into like a powdered look. So I go in with my brush and I find that my makeup lasts a lot longer when I do this step. So it's been helping me with my scummer, my scummer, my scummer for real. <laughs> my summer makeup routine. Y'all be making up words. And I just like dip it in and just pat it. It is so hot right now, y'all. It is so hot. I'm tempted to turn on my fan, but I know it's going to be loud. See how it just instantly transformed like that wet look into a more powdery look. I'm just impressed. My skin looks so bomb right now. Like I don't even know what to do with myself. Okay, so after I've applied my deep translucent powder, I'm going to go in with the Born This Way medium translucent powder. And I'm going to take my beauty blender, dip it in. Oh, girl, she's messy. Dip it in and apply her. Right here, we are going to bake. I really like this shade. Oh, she is mad. She is mad. She is mad. You is mad. Guys, this is really some matte translucent powder. She's leaving no room for oil. Look at this. Look at how matte I am. I've never been this matte from a translucent setting powder before in my entire life, but I'm currently the maddest human being on planet Earth right now. What is going on right now? Y'all, I am so mad. I don't feel dry though. Like I can, I can move my face around. It doesn't feel dry. It's just so matte. I'm a little shook by this powder. I'm a little, a little bit shook by this powder. I have never seen my face this matte in my entire life. I've never seen it this matte before. This is like matte 2.0. Yeah, I, I, yeah. But I really like, I really like this. I love the shade. Like it doesn't look ashy. It's just very matte. Like it, it's, it looks set. I am stuttering because I'm shook. I'm a little, sh I'm shaken. I'm shaken by this. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and complete the rest of my makeup look and I will be back with my final thoughts. All right, guys, I'm back. My face is complete. You know what? Let's go right into how I feel about this new Too Faced foundation and the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and the Too Faced Born This Way translucent setting powder. Let's start off with the foundation. So as you guys know, I use the shade Chai. I'm going to give this foundation a 9.0. 0.9 out of 10. Initially when Born This Way foundation came out, they did not have any deep shades really. Nothing really flattered me. Nothing worked for me. I think they came out with this foundation. I don't want to, I, I think it was like 2014 or 2015. Either way, they didn't have my shade and then they launched more deeper shades and um, that's when Chestnut became available for me and I was like, okay, you know, it was doable. But other than that, it really didn't match my undertone, but I was able to like finesse it. Jackie stepping in and really going hard for the girls with the golden undertones, girls with deeper skin tones, just really 
um, paying attention to undertones and nailing it. Chai literally is like my perfect match. I'm looking at my skin right now. I don't look red. I don't look pink. I look like the beautiful golden brown girl that I am. And that is thanks to Chai. I really, 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 really love this shade. I feel like this is like the best matched foundation shade I currently own. I have not tried a foundation shade that was like spot on, right on the money. No, never tried it. Don't even know what that feels like. Until I tried Chai. Like she's, first of all, her name is amazing. Okay, you get a 10 just for the name, girl. You guys saw when I put her on, she like melted into my skin. It was like, you could not tell the difference between the color of like my chest and my neck versus my face. And that's all a girl wants in her foundation. That's all she wants, that's all we want. I definitely give Chai a 10 out of 10. This is, like I said, my best matched foundation to date. I just really love how my face is looking. I feel like it just, it looks so amazing. It looks so bomb. Definitely recommend this foundation. I definitely recommend this shade. If you are along the same skin tone as myself, golden undertones, brown, this is definitely going to be something that you love. The formula is amazing. The color match is amazing. I can't say much more about this. It speaks for itself. Look at that. I feel like more brands really need to initiate this inclusion of beauty bloggers helping to create um, products because especially women of color, beauty bloggers, we know what we want. We know what we've been missing, what we're looking for, what we've been complaining about for years. So instead of a bunch of non people of color, no shade, um, working in a lab trying to figure out what we need, why don't you just include one of us? <laughs> How about that? Saves a lot of time. Saves a lot of time and energy. Saves a lot of headache. Jackie, girl, you did that, okay? Pat yourself on the back. Here's a hand clap for you, girl. You deserve an award for this shade. I'm just saying, because... Okay, so next we're gonna talk about the Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealers. These, you guys, Too Faced did that. They did this. They didn't spare any of your edges at all, okay? They completed the entire sentence. These are some of the best concealers I ever used ever in life. I don't know what they did with the Born This Way, but when I tell you they really like did the dang thing, they did that. There's no like separations. Like look at, look at my skin. Look at my skin, girl. They bring y'all a little closer. Okay, y'all are all up in my grill right now. Okay, no judging. But look at how flawless my skin looks. Like no separation. I don't see any like creasing, cracking, um, like settling in lines. I'm not seeing any. Oh my god. Oh, hold up, hold up. I feel like my skin looks amazing. You guys were like literally all up in my grill. <laughs> this is everything you've been wanting in a concealer. This is everything you've been wanting in a concealer. And then look at look how much you get, girl. This is gonna last you, okay? My only complaint about the Born This Way concealer is obviously the shade ranges. If we could just get her to just like add maybe six more uh, deeper shades and even some in-between shades, I'm telling you, you would hear me complain no more. I would be a happy girl. I'm not conceited at all, but I just want to stare at myself because I'm trying to figure out, is, is that really me? Is it really me? Like my face doesn't feel tacky, sticky, nothing. Like she is, she is set, okay? She is put. She is put to bed. She is rested. I love it so much though. Definitely recommend this. You guys have to try it. And lastly, I want to talk about the Born This Way Translucent Setting Powder. Okay, so like I mentioned, they came out with three colors. Translucent, Translucent Medium, and then Translucent Deep or Dark. Whatever. It was a deeper shade. Um, I tried Medium, and as you guys saw, my face was set. Okay? S-E-T. Set. Put to bed. Rested. It is hot okay it is hot outside and it's currently hot in my house because i don't have my fan on because i'm trying to get through this video without any extra background sounds okay and then i have three beaming lights on me your girl is here she is not dead she is not melted my makeup is set okay i'm just trying to figure out where my oils went like my oils went on vacation girl i would have been sweating right now and my makeup would have been trying to like settle and crease because my oils would have been like <laughs> trying to breathe what's going on outside in the world but they're not doing that it set my face so bomb I fit my skin y'all I cannot believe my skin looks this bomb so that is my review and first impression of the Born This Way Translucent Setting Powder, blah, 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 Translucent Setting Powder, the concealer and the new foundation shades that Jackie Ina came out with and out of I, this is probably one of the best reviews uh products that i've reviewed 
this year in 2018. All right, y'all, that is all. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload new videos. Be sure to leave me a comment down below so we can chat. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.